and welcome to Tiny Treasures. I have my little Ponty Pines and Wattinger's house and it's one of the only Ponty Pines toys I have other than one soft toy. And we've had lots of requests from fans about our toys and if we sell them. And unfortunately, we don't sell our toys. It's a collection that we use in our videos over and over. But we had a very creative idea and we made our own Ponty Pines. We've been painting lots of rocks lately. All different colors, all different sizes. And I decided to make an Easter egg and a rock with flowers and an owl. And I thought, why not make some little Ponty Pine rocks? Puppy's going to help me. And here are the ha-hoos. Ha-hoo, ha-hoo. And these are the ponty pines I made. We need 10 ponty pines. So far we have one ponty pine, two ponty pines, and daddy ponty pine makes three in total. We still need seven little ponty pines. With an adult's help, you can make your own character rocks. All you need is paint, a magazine to cut the characters out of, and something called Mod Podge to seal it and glue it onto the rock. Let's carry on and search for the rest of our Ponty Pines. <gasps> there are two more Ponty Pines. Now we have four Ponty Pines, five Ponty Pines in total, and here's the little blue slide. Our little Ponty Pine rocks can even go down the slide. Whee! Oh, somebody's called me. They found something interesting. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's a little ladybug at the paint station. I absolutely love ladybugs. We have so many in our yard this year. You may have some too. You just may not recognize the different stages of a ladybug. I have two different ladybugs in my garden. This is a ladybug in its larva stage. And if we look in the mint leaves, and you look very carefully under one of the leaves, this is a ladybug in its pupa stage. This is the final stage before it becomes an adult ladybug that can crawl and fly. Let's continue our hunt for Ponty Pines. Oh, ooh, and look, there's the bridge. And I found two more Ponty Pines. Six Ponty Pines. Seven, oops, seven Ponty Pines. We only need three more. Oh, and look who's on the bridge. It's Iggle Piggle. Let's play some music on the bridge and dance. And Puppy went ahead and found more Ponty Pines. It's Upsy Daisy and she's beside the pretty flower rocks I painted her. I love flowers just like Upsy Daisy. Oh, and we have our eighth Ponty Pine. And it's Mummy Ponty Pine. We have Mummy and Daddy. We have two more little Ponty Pines to find. Oh, and Puppy seems to know where he's going. And there are the final two Ponty Pines with Iggle Piggle in his Pinky Ponk car. Nine Ponty Pines. And ten little Ponty Pine rocks. And if you create any of your own character rocks, I'd love to see them. And please ask your parents to send me photos through our Tiny Treasures Facebook page. And if you love our channel, please subscribe and hit the link below. Thank you and goodbye. Today we are in a beautiful garden full of stones and beautiful plants. 
On my left is one of my favorite plants. It's actually a tree called a smoke bush, and its flowers are soft and purple. And the flowers have seeds on them. Now let's go down. Oh, and hello, puppy. He likes to follow me wherever I go. Are you going to help me today? We are looking for special in the night garden stones, tiny fans. You let me know if you spot anything. Oh, look at this white duck sculpture. And it's the first stone. It's the three tomliboos. Ooh, un, and e. And I made these rocks myself. It was a fun craft that the kids and I did together. Rock painting has been one of our favorite activities during COVID. There are three more stones hidden in the garden. Do you spot one of them? It's Maka Paka, a pile of stones, and the Pinky Pong. And it was sitting beside a stone sculpture called an Anukshuk. We have two more in the night garden stones to find. Let's look by the flowers. Ooh, it's a pretty metal flower sculpture. And there is Upsy Daisy. We painted her rock yellow with little flowers in the background because Upsy Daisy loves flowers. What colors do you see? Purple, pink, blue, and bright red. Oh, Upsy Daisy, she'll stay with the flowers. What's that, Upsy Daisy? Oh, you wanna go find Iggle Piggle? Well, of course, you come join us. Let's go check over by the sculpture of the fairy. And yes, we found Iggle Piggle. And of course, he has his red blanket. I painted the rock blue and it has some white flowers in the background. And we found all four stones in the beautiful garden. If you love our videos, please help our channel continue to grow by subscribing and pushing the link below. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. The kids and I have been having so much fun painting rocks this summer and Tiny Treasures painted this adorable little car and camper trailer. Let's go see some of the other rocks outside, Peppa. Ooh, there's a rock with a sunset, a butterfly, and some dandelions that have seeded. Peppa wants us to show us some very special rocks. They have some of our favorite characters on them. Here they are on the swing. It's Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. And it looks like Daddy Pig has gotten some flowers for Mummy Pig. These rocks were very simple to make. First, I found a Peppa Pig magazine. And I cut out a picture of one of the Peppa Pig characters. I had to be very careful. Peppa has very slim arms and tiny fingers. I painted my rock blue and green. Blue for the sky and green for grass. But you can paint your rock any color, like maybe even rainbow. Oh, look who's come to visit. It's Puppy. He loves to hang out with us outside. After the paint has dried, I modge podge my picture onto the rock. Hmm, I wonder where the Peppa and George rocks are. Let's go have a look. George really likes the gnome mushroom. And there is our George rock. And right behind him are more of the rocks that Tiny Treasures and I have painted together. Let's go find your rock, Peppa. Oh, Peppa has an idea where it can be. She loves to paint fairy house rocks. 
And there is the Peppa Rock. Hooray! She's wearing her red dress. Oh, but the dress Peppa's wearing today has a yellow flower on it. We have had so much fun painting rocks, and you could do it at home too. All you need is acrylic paints, paint brushes, and some sealer. And if you enjoy our videos, please hit the link below to subscribe and support our channel. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Tiny Treasures has received a very fun gift for their birthday, the National Geographic Rock Tumbler. And it comes with all of these colorful jagged rocks. And when we follow the instructions, all of these rocks will be smooth stones. Pick your favorite stone and then remember what it looks like so you can see it at the end of the video. We are also going to choose some rocks off the beach. Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini and Dora discover some very cool looking rocks. Let's add them to the tumbler. We will also add the stones that came with the kit. Remember, pick your favorite stone so you can see what it looks like at the end of the video once it's smooth and polished. Our first step is to add grit, water, and then it tumbles for a week. And the rocks are already smoother. Now this is only step one. We still have three more steps to go. Can you see your stone? They look quite different than when they went in the tumbler. Hey, look, tiny fans. There's a little ladybug beside the rocks. Oh, I love ladybugs. Have you seen the video where we release hundreds of ladybugs in our greenhouse? If not, you should definitely check it out. Okay, tiny fans. Here we are with our Teletubbies toys. We're about to add the grit number four polish, the last stage in polishing our rocks. Puppies having fun sniffing the grass. We need to open up the tumbler and empty out the grit and water from the last cycle. This is what it looks like. Let's pour out the water. Some of the rocks came out, but a lot of them are stuck inside the clay. I'm going to use my hand to dig out the rocks. Ooh, this is starting to get very messy and the clay is starting to get stuck under my nails. I used a hose and I sprayed the rocks and rinsed them off. Now they're clean. Do you see your rock? Some of the rocks have become so small, I don't think I can add them to the last cycle. They disappear into nothing. Ooh, there's one of the tiger eyes. I filled the barrel with water and now we place our rocks in the water. I'm going to leave these little rocks out of the last cycle. I add number four grit. And of course, I rinse off the Teletubbies toys. Let's turn the tumbler on. It spins the barrel. And after a week, we have our final stones. They're not as shiny as in the picture, but they're still very smooth and beautiful. These are the tiger eye stones. We had three of them in the kit. They are my favorite. The kit also came with a learning guide where you can identify the stones and learn about where they came from. Here's the tiger's eye a lustrous gemstone. And then there's also something called red jasper. Let's see if we can find it in our stones. Do you spot the red jasper? 
here it is. And then another type of Jasper called Dalmatian Jasper. Just like the Dalmatian dog, it has black spots. Do you see it? That one's very easy to find. Unfortunately, the rocks weren't as shiny as we expected, but we still had fun smoothing them out. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.